Good morning, good morning. Good morning, I think we are live here. Hello and welcome back. So this morning, uh, let's talk about Flare 58. Uh, I, had about, I had about almost a year now. Okay, so this is Flare 58, if you don't know. So this is a manual, kind of like espresso maker uh, from Flare. And when they came out a couple of years ago, there was huge, extreme, extreme hype. Okay, everybody wants one. Okay, everybody wants one. And and and, but I didn't get it at the time. Okay, so I just got that one uh, last year. I think it's been around for going on two years. Uh, comes to the look and feel, just like any other espresso uh, manual, kind of like maker but okay but uh, that's 58 millimeter okay so this is a 58 millimeter pore filter okay. and well designed Hold on, I'm just gonna lock it in there and it's a simple water chamber so this one comes with the electric heating elements okay heating elements so that is a game changer for Flare 58. Uh, because uh, any other manual uh, espresso makers out there, it's, it's very hard to heat up your water up to the right temperature. Okay. Uh, but in this case, you don't have to, you just press the button. So here's what, what, what we're gonna do this morning. Uh, so I'm gonna be uh, brewing live, obviously, we are doing the live streaming. Uh, let's find out how long it's gonna take to brew uh, espresso, all right? So I'm gonna start the timer. Everything is cold right now, it's all cold, okay? So I'm gonna be doing the cold star this morning. So let's start the time. I'm just gonna go one, two, three. So the three dots represent the highest temperature, all right? Three dots represent highest temperature. So uh, let's find out how long it's gonna take. And but meantime, now let's talk about the coffee here so this one is a coffee from Venice uh, California and let's see here so that uh, this is their seasoning uh, seasonal espresso blend there milk chocolate caramel and dry fruit it should be wonderful it should be great and I already measured out 18 gram uh, comes to my grinder this morning uh, let's go with the MC5 okay let's go with the MC5 and again, if you're just joining us, we're gonna do the live brew session with the Flare 58. I just started about a minute ago. Okay. By the way, if you have a Flare 58, uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, I know Jesse just used a, just pulled a shot on the Flare 58 uh, right before this video. <coughs> uh, let's see here, Nick is talking about uh, Meticulous Kickstarter launch date is on March 28th. That's next week. No, no, I think week after. That's end of March. So yeah, so it's getting close. So if you don't know what Meticulous is, check out my older video. I have uh, I did in the, uh, interview Carlos from Meticulous. Okay, we talk about the machine. So Meticulous is kind of like combination of flare and decent espresso machine okay so you can control every aspect of your brew the one shot at a time okay they are fantastic okay they're great all right by the way so once uh, up to temperature you're gonna hear the bip noise okay you're gonna hear the sound that this uh this uh chamber here is up to temperature there so but meantime, I got my boiling water is going. I set up, you know, boiling temperature. And I'm not gonna grind the coffee yet because I want to bring the temperature up and I'm gonna grind the last minutes. But again, uh, meantime, just make sure to join the live chat as well. We got some, uh, we got some people on the chat room right now this morning. We have our usual suspects. We got Jesse's on, we got Nick's on this morning. We got Linda as well, who's on? We got Fly America, okay. Yeah, we got some few people. 
Wait, today's St. Patrick's Day? Is that today St. Patrick's Day? Yeah. yeah. Is it, Mac? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not an Irish, so I don't know about this one. Okay. As you can tell, I'm not an Irish. All right. By the way, we are doing the uh, simulcast with our Discord member as well. So, yeah. Hold on. We got Nick there. Let's see. Uh, the Fly America. Uh, did you buy the Cruise Roma from Say? Uh, not yet. Okay. Not yet. That sounds wonderful though. Because I am, I love anything to do with a, a peach. Okay. So, so one of the tasting that was uh, candy, what? Uh, candy peach. So, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I don't know. I mean, if it sold out, sold out, but yeah. But it is pricey, 125 gram for $65. 125 gram for $65. That is, that is, it, it must be spectacular. Let's put it that way. All right, it's been, we've been waiting about four minutes now. Okay, still light is blinking. If you touch it, I can feel it, okay? I can tell starting to get, yeah. They're getting really hot there. Okay. All right. So Jesse said the peach tasting note is amazing. Uh, yeah, I do love peach. By the way, so uh, I'm getting some wonderful coffee today from. There we go. You guys hear that that noise, which means the machine is ready. Okay. Goodness, just under five minutes. Okay, bring up to the temperature. That's it. So as you saw, um, we are doing the core star. All right. Hold on a second, John. Shout out to John. Anyone in New York City wants to split two pound of say, John? Uh, John has a great idea. Okay, if you, if any of you watching right now, uh, hey John, what is your uh, Instagram or whatever so people get hold of you? Okay, anybody watching from New York City, John wants to split the two pound back. Even better yet, you know, split four ways, right? You know, save a lot more money there as well. So, so everybody get a, like half pounds each. Uh, so I'm getting the coffee from actually a uh, hydrangea, okay, uh, today. So I'm getting some couple uh, coffee from hydrangea. Uh, hydrangea is a roaster that they play with. Okay, they roast a lot of interesting coffee, like especially anaerobic process ones, natural process one fermentation process ones they are completely opposite than wash so should be very interesting there okay so this is ready about five minutes so let's grind some coffee here and let's bring some coffee let me show you guys my workflow there we go so let's grind some coffee. Uh, comes to grind size, I go, you know, pretty fine on this one. Yeah, I go pretty fine on that. I'm gonna go 18 gram going in. I'm gonna go quick flush on uh, my Flare 50 there to quick flush put some water in I can hear all that noise yeah, I'm just gonna quick flush okay quick flush there and I usually warm up a uh, screen inside as well just warm it up both uh port filter and okay Let's, we're gonna do some quick puck prep Just gonna do a quick 
dry up here okay if you're just joining us again th this is not stick quite hot enough okay but so this is after five minutes all right but ideally you, you know you want to leave it about 10 minutes it'd be better option for you but we're gonna give it a quick distribution here I mean, looking at the group head, the head space, it might be too fine, but we'll see. I'm gonna put the screen on the top, just like so. Just gonna lock it in. Just gonna lock it in here. Okay. Uh, comes to how to use this. If you have it, you start from the down position. Okay, you start, start from the down position here, and they are going to add water. But meantime, I'm going to set my scale. There we go. All right. Let me actually get the for the right angles for you guys. There we go. All right, here we go. And again, the water temperature is boiling hot water. I'm just going to slowly lift. You slowly lift the level. You do not want to have any air bubble, okay, the pocket there. Hopefully you guys can see it on the top. Hope you guys can see that. Just make sure you're gonna uh, get the fill up to the top, okay. Just fill it to the top. That's it. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm taking my time, but you can go a lot faster than this. Yeah. And then let's put some shot here. Uh, what I like to do is I like to start, I'm just gonna start my timer. Give it a pre, uh, quick pre-infusion, okay. You just wait. Coffee's already coming out. And just give it a good about 78 bar pressure and then once i'm here about 30 gram kind of lean back you know just ease my pressure there once you hit like 45 just pull back that's it so that's about 35 seconds or so and after you're done here's the trick to it You are going to just put the press down, get the rest of coffee out. Okay. That's it. Again, so this is the coffee we just made. Now let's try that. Okay. Uh, comes to you again. Okay, comes to coffee, tasting notes, uh, milk chocolate, caramel, and dried fruit. So it took us about what, 11 minutes to brew this? That's it, just 11 minutes, guys. Very easy, simple. Here we go, happy Patrick's Day, okay? St. Patrick's Day, here we go, cheers. Milk chocolate, 
for this one is more I taste a lot more dry fruit okay I feel like I only wait about five minutes to heat up because uh, the minimum you gotta wait five minutes to heat up to the temperature there but man boy smooth mellow well balanced uh, optimally you want to wait a little longer okay about 10 minutes I like it about 10 minutes uh, I mean I like you know uh, piping hot okay and then I like to uh, grind size a little bit more finer okay I like to go grind size a little bit more finer so again I mean that is pretty much it so most coffee machine like uh, Bianca behind me I gotta wait about minimum 20 minutes every single morning to heat up to the temperature with this obviously it just needs to you know heat it up for some pour some water that comes to workflow wise extremely simple okay uh, clean up let's talk about cleanup I mean that is I have a lot of it's not an issue with like a uh, flare pro or flare classic because cleanup was a little pain but with flare just take it out that's it just tap it it's all clean you are next uh, you are ready for next coffee okay you're gonna have a very dry pocket or uh, dry pocket as well so if I'm gonna do it now if I'm gonna pull the second shot Guess what? It's going to be even better than last time. Okay, it's, it's going to be even better than last time. So, uh, what else? Another great thing about the Flare 58 is you can play with the water recipes, folks. You don't have to worry about building the uh, uh, scale on your boiler. So, with the boiler water, you, you do not want to put any calcium because you are going to uh, build up the you know, hot water deposit. But with Flare 58, you don't have to worry about that. So you can play with the wa uh, different water recipes. So uh, if you are in, if you coffee is your hobby, especially if you love espresso, I mean there are you're gonna have a lot more fun with 58 than a uh, regular coffee machine. But the flip side is this cannot do milk. Okay, if you love milk, I mean yeah, you are looking at the wrong machine. But if you are into black coffee, sure. I mean, that uh, could be a better idea for you. All right. And it comes to uh, the price. If you go to Flare right now, I think they're selling for 500 bucks. And then sometimes they go on sale. Uh, by the way, if your buddy bought a Flare 58 before, the, uh, before uh, you, you could get a, your friend has a coupon code. Okay and they can hook you up with another like 20% off all right 20% off there so if you do some little bit of research you can get the flare 58 pretty reasonable price again the 500 bucks is the going price today and but I don't know how many of you are waiting for uh, other 58 machines so we have obviously got 58 we have Argo uh, also known as uh, Odyssey, espresso machine is coming out. It's already coming out now, okay, supposedly uh, next month or so. So Odyssey is coming out. The Argo is coming out. This 58. Think of it as a kind of like updated Lapaboni. Okay, so that might be very interesting. But again, if you don't want to wait for that, you know, something easy to use, you have a lot of control on it. Okay, definitely uh, make sure to look out for 58 as well. Okay, so the Nick said, got the Pro 2 before uh, before the 58 came out. 58, yeah, 400, yeah, $400. They probably haven't got, yeah, got that instead. Uh, and it comes to uh, 58, again, it's, it's, it's so easy to use now, okay? Not like for, uh, Pro 2. The Pro 2 is... It's not that easy. I've been using it for a while because of cleanup. The cleanup can be really messy. But with the uh, Flare 58, goodness, just like any other coffee machine. Okay, any other coffee machine there. But you can, it's hard to travel with it. 
hard to travel with the 58, but like Flare Pro 2 or any kind of uh, flare that uh, give you the travel case. So uh, it's kind of like, you know, I mean, if, if you value portability, okay, go with the Pro 2. But if you want to have quality of it, okay, 58. So you got some options, folks. You have some options. Anyway, uh, I hope this video helps. Uh, let's see here. What else? Uh, I'll be back later today, okay? I'll be back later. Uh, I got a lot to talk about this uh, today as well. And goodness. I don't know about you guys, but man, the grinder, the grinders are going, uh, getting out of control, okay? They got so many grinders coming out. Man, I know some of you are, you know, maybe confused about which grinder you should get. Maybe we should talk about that later. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great morning and see you guys in about a couple hours.